I been chain smoking and dab dreaming. Uh, I been dreaming, dab dab dab, dab dreaming. Uh, I been chain smoking and dab dab dreaming, chain smoking and dreaming, chain smoking and dreaming. Uh, I been chain smoking and dab dreaming. Uh, I been dreaming, dab dab dab, dab dreaming. Uh, I've been chain smoking and dab dab dreaming, chain smoking and dreaming. Word, dab, word, dab, word, dab. word, word, that bitch, your motherfucking man, C. Rogavelli, aka Raymond Ace, in the motherfucking place. And we're back <laughs> live, motherfucking wire, Dab Dreams Radio, season two, episode two. We're gonna call this Louis Life. Fucking King it, Daddy, man. King Daddy, Big Lou 303, all you, day, represent. Goddamn um, right. I'm, we, I'm 38 Brown and Free from D-Town, home of the Broncos, home of the Nuggets, home of the motherfucking Avalanche. I don't give a fuck. I'm here. Goddamn right. We got the motherfucking 720-5280 in the motherfucking building. The one, the one, the only, the original, spiciest motherfucking comic in Denver, Louis Ricardo Martinez, <laughs> a.k.a. Louis, Louis Ricardo Louis Martinez. Jesse. Jesse Retardo Martinez. Oh, he got too Come on, many don't make me correct you, bro. You're doing. Oh, shit. You're already fucking this comedy game up, real good. We already fucking up the comedy game because I'm That's already right. canceled and he's already on the motherfucking. I've been place. on. I've been. They've been hunting me down to cancel me. I already know that shit. It's cool. It's cool. But so what you we're not. About? We're not. We're not going to talk about this cancel culture no, about no, you right gonna now. Talk we're going to fucking mix it up. We're we're just going to talk comedy, Denver. I'm going to tell you about the craziest shit fucking in Denver. How about that? Uh, you tell me, man. All tell right. Me. White folks trip me out because these motherfuckers are eating at Linger. Uh-huh. Do you know what Linger is over there in the Highlands? Explain to me. All right. Well, first of all, it's the north side. You know what I mean? These people, these white folks. Oh, I live in the Highlands. I live in Sunnyside, you know. There's fucking, a little bit of dangerous yeah, nostalgia. That's, that's just... That's just fucking real estate jargon they trick white people and like fucking rich black people with that oh yeah this highlands neighborhood it's great you know come live here it used to be nothing but mexicans and low riders and shit dude yeah, i'm not even yeah. joking like the carne and sarah like, carne you, could hear, you could hear the mexican music jamming outside but that's the remnants of denver quit yeah. fucking with that he said not to mess with that i fucked with it and i fucked uh, it up i fucked it up so <laughs> I have to have the mic in a these certain kids area. Are, these kids are all like, oh, I need shit to move. I need my book face and not at all. Fuck, no, we didn't have no, none of no, that no, shit. No, 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 no. Yo, need... motherfucker, shut the fuck up. Let me I'm tell a... you, let me tell you I'm... about pagers. Okay, tell me I'm about I'm talking pagers. about fucking pagers. That's how we used to deal fucking weed back in the Even day. Even though bro. I know about pagers. Let, tell you me about know, pagers. You don't know about pagers, bro. I know about fuck, pagers. Dog. What you ha- you had one as a pacifier and no. shit, dude? Come my mom. On, if you if you if, if it was on you, my mom gave me a pager at eight years old and said, "Hey, this is how we communicate." And I never right. used it. All right, I don't believe you. Uh, you better not believe me. I don't. I kind of do, but I'm talking. I used a pager to deal drugs when well, I was a teenager. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let you know that Louis. L- my man Louie is about eight years older than me, so he's an old yeah, fuck. I'm 38, brown and free. You know, I lived in Denver all my life. Uh, I didn't go to the East Coast, but I've been up and down the West Coast like a motherfucker. Yeah. I, lived in, I lived in Oregon for a year. That was like one of the best years of my fucking life. Were you doing comedy? Even... No, I, w- I just started comedy. You want to know the truth? Yeah, tell me when you decided to do comedy. I started doing comedy uh, uh, a straight year or two years now but i wasn't like fucking on it like i've been on it for the past year and a half every open mic why do you think i drag you out every week i want you to do motherfucker good. stop lying i no, call you yeah you call me but i'm glad you do because yo that's the only way you did good is if you fucking if you go to every open mic you can you know you try to in try new shit like i like rogan says right you yeah. gotta sharpen the middle yeah you gotta sharpen it dude and like but you know, shit, everybody thinks this shit's easy. It's not easy at all, Fuck dude. No. And you know what? I, I, I'm not lying about this shit, dude. All my chips are in on this comedy game, bro. For real, man. I'm not you. even joking. I'm, I'm fucking serious when I say something like that because I quit a job. I quit a forklift job because I hurt my back again. You know, my back's been hurt all yeah, week. Yeah. You know, I hurt my, my back there. And I said, you know what? 
I'm tired of working hard on, you know, I could hustle. I could probably go sell dope and make a couple fucking G's a month or yeah. fucking, you know, survive, sure. get out of my mom's house. But I don't want to do that, bro, because you know what? I've been high. I've been an addict. Sometimes I still fucking party, but that's my thing, bro. That's how, but that's I don't want to, I don't want to fucking push anything on somebody else. You know what I mean? I yeah, wouldn't fucking, sure. you know, cause I bet you I could sell a bunch of Coke to these motherfuckers in this silly comedy game. You know, but I don't because fucking I don't want to be the the wearers of bad ideas or I don't want to get fucking called out. All, all you do is sell dope at the open mics and do this and do that. But no, you uh, see me there fucking. Allegedly, oh, allegedly, yeah, allegedly, but allegedly you know, fuck. to the homies that know what's up, fucking Vimo me, dog, or cash at me now. Goddamn hey, right. No, nah, but I'm just playing, you know. Those this are is jokes all jokes, too, ladies and but gentlemen. But those are jokes too, but you know what I mean? And at least I could joke about my past and not fucking be a jerk about it or nothing like that. Like I, But in the same sense, you know, I fucking, I am all in on this comedy shit, dude. Yeah, man, for real. I feel you. You know, and we I sacrifice yeah. hours of our, of our nighttime and uh, of our sleep because yeah. tell me, I, I tell you, I'm, I'm still working. I'm still doing the slave shit. Yeah, and you know what, dude? You're doing good for a new guy. You got your podcast here. You probably got some fans here. Tell them to fucking show up to Denver and come to your open mic on Saturday. I'm glad you're hustling. That's like, hey, I had my open mic. That shit got shut down. Two two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row, I had crazy ladies at my mic. I told one stupid Mexican joke, and I had a little Indian chick try to roll on me and punch me in the face, dude. Yeah. And then you heard that black kid at the open mic tonight. He was talking about how he's like, I was at this crazy open mic where the fucking bartender lady got drunk. And then they just threw this other chick behind the bar to fucking serve us. It was crazy. That's how crazy my mic was getting, you guys. It was insane. And you know what? I loved every minute of it, but I'm so glad that that dude canceled that shit because it was just wild, dude. It was too wild. It's like fuck. You want uh, you want to almost do comedy to some classy motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Sometimes, but that's how this game's getting. Like they got a bunch of shit. I'm so proud of you for getting your own open mic. High five, bitch. Fucking Better right. So man. they could hear it. Hell yeah. Fucking that's right, how man. you do it, dude. But but you know, yeah, no, we're talking about accomplishments. All right, you want to know my best accomplishment was doing that 20 minutes down in Colorado Springs the other. And week. I respect you for that, man. And and it was different. But then, you know, and what's crazy is, like, I was like, yeah, somebody will book me and somebody hit me up for a free show here. Come over and do this. And I've been on Monkey Bar a couple of times because me and Kyle, Kyle was like my first homie at Al Chirito. Shout outs to Al Chirito. I missed that place. That was the first place I ever did comedy. The first place, here's some advice for you comics. The first place I ever walked off stage because I forgot my shit. And you know what I said after that night? I'm never walking off stage until that motherfucker lights me. And I've done that. And you know what? Sometimes fucking some cats will even let you go long because you say, oh, are, are you going to light me or what? Because you look for that because life sometimes, to save your life. But like shout outs to Aaron Maslow. I've been there. And shout outs to Janae Burris. Janae. I'm so glad I was there. I'd be the last one to go up, and it would just be Janae, Christy Bukley, and Phil Corridor. And Phil Corridor was there because I had to give his ass a ride home. But it was just, it would be us four. All the other comics would leave. And you know what? About fucking four or five weeks of that, you know, Janae put me first when I cut my hair as a mullet, and I had a tight set. That was my first ever practice tight set. Like I tell you, I don't do the same shit every night. But that week I had the mullet. I'll tell you my set. I would say I I just got signed to the 1990s Colorado Rockies. (laughs) And that I'm going to be smoking weed with Vinny Castillo. All that shit. And then uh, I went right into my... uh, I went right into my... uh, McDonald's story where I karate chopped fucking uh, three ham sandwiches because my mom didn't get fucking sausage fucking McMuffins. She got ham McMuffins and I fucking went in there and the little Mexican lady was talking shit to me so I karate chopped the fuck out of them. Hey. And, and then my fucking I'll keep an eye out for you joke, which is like, it's an old joke, 
But I remodernized it into being a West Colfax joke because Denver's crazy. West Colfax is crazy. Goddamn right. And you know, fuck, dude. I don't know. People talk shit about joke stealing. Look at you stealing your your aces. The place, fucking shit, dude. Fucking that's be, ace man. hardware, bud. It it's fucking be, ace man. hardware. You gotta dude, be, man. You gotta it's be. It's cool, bro. We what you should the... do, what you should do, is get fucking do Raymond and cursive, and then do ace in the ace hardware fucking thing, bro. Oh, that'd be that'd funny. be a dope that'd ass logo, bud. Funny. Yeah, dude. But, but we gotta but, keep at it, man. No, but that's that's another thing, bro. You're fucking. I see. Like, fucking, look at us right now. We're in a fucking dope, almost fucking, this is studio-esque compared to the fucking Facebook shit I've been doing, but I fucking record my stupid Game of Thrones shit on the fucking computer from the laptop, and me and fucking, me and Tall Guys fucking, our podcast is on fucking, on a, whatchamacallit, on a fucking iPhone. And a fucking one mic, but we got to hold one mic between the three of people we're talking to. We've been doing this shit, me and my But hey, bro, but hey. That's how you do it. You Me and my man still it. been doing we this still two and a half do it, years, bud. Man. We got to do this shit, bro. You, you know what to. I mean? Yeah. What did you write in that post when that kid was talking shit about what? Does signing up even matter? Signing up early even matter at open mics? You put, well, what my homeboy Luis Martinez would you say can't is. Cry. What, are you going to fucking cry about that shit? Can't Fuck cry. no, you can't cry about nothing, can't bud. Can't fucking cry, dog. That's why I told you about it. We're not going to mention about whatever happened, but. What happened today, I'm not going to fucking cry. I'm not going to fucking do none of that. Because yeah. my homeboy, Louie, told me we got to go through these these trials and tribulations the same way. You're lucky. Hey, Andrew maybe, Schultz. maybe, maybe you're lucky this shit's happening to you early in your open it might mind be, career. It might be good. It might that be bad. That way you fucking overcome some adversity and fucking, I hope you stick with it. Don't fucking. I'm going to fucking stick yeah, with it. Yeah, good, dude. That's all I want to hear. Fuck Ladies and gentlemen, do not cancel me from Denver Comedy because I'm just a... Just apologize one time. Say, I apologize. I'm not going to apologize. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw some crazy shit going down. I thought a girl was going to get hit in her face. So I started recording in case fucking started fucking getting crazy and might hit a woman. And that's all I was doing. I'm sorry if you guys thought of it as something else, but no. Voodoo well, yeah. Imperial Ranger is the shit. You guys, I'm going to get you some. You like good beer, homie? I want, I want cocaine. What's your name? Dylon. Can I call you Dylons? All right, Dylon. Dylon, brother. This is how much I love comedy, dude. We're going to do the fucking Dylon from Dave Chappelle's hey. for Dylon. No, nah, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you some you I'm gonna get you some crazy mountain beer, bro. Who, hey, All right. Who's top five? Top five what? Top five rappers. Uh, top five rappers. You want to go? Dylan, 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 Dylan. I thought you were asking me a real fucking question, but I thought this was gonna. I thought this was gonna. No, but, is, no. Hey, I'm I'm into old school hip hop, but fucking straight but, up. You want to hear? Not nah, fuck Dylon, but yeah, the it's joke's it's over. Actually, See, like, you're dwelling on jokes too much, bro. I love uh, it. I love it. See, and I love hip hop, bro. That's like one of my favorite groups ever was the Far Side. Let's take a break. And I no, I fuck you. I seen take a dab while I talk. Then take a dab while I talk. So one of my favorite, one of my favorite groups. Was the far side. Why don't you come sit down, Dylon? Fuck, take his spot. Yeah, He's absolutely. taking a piss, dude. Fuck this motherfucker. Fucking Raymond. We're here with Dylon. BB Let's Silica. just go. But so far side. Yeah, far side, man. She keeps passing me by. Mm. Drop. Yeah. I know so much about that video drop. And mm. it, have you seen it? That's the one. It's Gondry the one where did, they go right? backwards. Yeah. Was that Gondry? Michelle Gondry? Yeah. 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 I've seen that a bunch. They times. went to a speech therapist mm-hmm. to say the words backwards in the video. And what they're doing is they're actually saying different words mm-hmm. so that their mouth looks like they're talking backwards. No, it's, that's why that's, I love... Uh, yeah, that dude, that, that producer, fucking, what's his name? The, the guy that produced that shit? That I don't know. No? Oh, man, dude. That, whoever pre- finds out who produced that shit, that shit is off the chain. No, dude. that's why I love uh, David Lynch stuff a lot. David yeah. Lynch does that a lot. Uh, all that new Twin Peaks shit, that's my favorite shit in the whole world. That's goddamn, like, it was so good. And, uh, don't you goddamn dare click anything, don't click C-Rocka. Shit, don't touch nothing. I will smack you. Don't even you. turn on the porn. I will smack you, you so hard. You horny Mexicans. So hard I will smack you. Yeah, don't touch me on fucking... That's like touching his wiener, bro. That's you don't, not, you don't, don't, don't holler in the mic. Scoot back for a sec. I'm talking to Dylon. You don't touch my I'm, things. I'm interviewing don't the guy. Don't touch my things. Don't, don't touch know. my things, bro. Top boy, top boy. All right, right here. so top boy. I don't know where did you say you're from again, though? I'm from Tennessee originally. Tennessee, down south. Mm-hmm. 
Pretty much, yeah. Basically, the uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, the uh, the border of Georgia and, and Tennessee. Tennessee. Like, right, like I'm an All hour right. and so a half. So you're on hour. the east side of the Mississippi, yeah. right, and just north of of the Gulf, right? Yeah, all Mexicans. Uh, yeah, yeah. The the next north. Yeah. Uh, you could you could pretty the much the next more north state. I can't even believe I can't fucking remember uh, state K- right now. Kentucky but. is above. Uh, Kentucky. Tennessee. Yeah. Like this, Southern if night. this motherfucker would quit talking for one fucking second, I'm trying to. <laughs> have you met him? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> He's just like me. We got diarrhea mouth. Somebody must have put a quarter in us Ain't or something. Ain't nobody ever gonna stop us you know, from talking. But anyway, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Give me, give me two, one minute. Give me one fucking minute, okay? Uh, all I have to say is, little Raymond Ace. Ever since I seen him at Stoney's, at Megan's mic. And he was writing in a book, and he came up and said, yo, you're pretty funny. And I was like, are you doing open mic? He's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And I was like, just go do it, dude. Sign up on the list. He went sign up on the list, and he had the balls to get up there and do it. And I respect that. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) Give me the whole minute, bitch. So I told him, dude, you got the balls to do it. Just fucking do it, bro. Keep at it. Do whatever you want. I didn't even know he had a podcast or nothing like this, you know. But I fucking, you know, I, I want fucking people to, just, just like it's fucked up clicking up and shit and oh, you know course. what's super fucked up is that dude in the fucking dress with the fucking blue hair wanted us to click up on homegirl because she interrupted one of their sets or they got back and forth in between hey don't you know i might talk a lot during people's sets and i know i'm fucked up for doing that but you know what sometimes i just can't stop myself yeah you know, I'm an asshole for doing that and shit. You know, one thing I do, I go sit on the steps at Comedy Works so I don't talk during the other comedian set because I love putting my two cents in. Like, I'm the asshole at the movie theaters that gets laughs during the fucking commercials for the other movie. Of course. You know, but, and I, I apologize if I talk during your set. Any other comedian that's mad at okay. me for doing that, I'll tell you straight up, I apologize for talking during your set. But the dude in the dress was trying to rope everybody in and get a gang to click up on motherfuckers. And that's not cool neither. You know, and I don't I don't even know what the fuck happened. That dude came up to me and tried to say, hey, fucking, they're trying to say that I can't do jokes. And I was like, well, your jokes are fucking lame, but maybe you shouldn't do fucking jokes, <laughs> maybe bro. You should come back and I walked jokes, the fuck yeah. away before he tried to rope me into that shit too. Yeah. You know, and it's now fucked there's, up. There's a, that's always the interesting dynamic, especially that we have nowadays is, Shouldn't I be allowed to say anything? And then there's, but is the thing that you're saying, does it provide any, is it funny? Yeah, is we, it is funny? It, is it, does it make you think about something? Or <coughs> is what you're trying to say just inflammatory? Yeah. Or, to the, it, or, like, or disrespectful? Like, I'm, I'm <clears throat> upset with my homeboy, Little Aspie, because he took it to the other level. Mm. And the kid does have autism. I don't give a fuck, dude. He's my homie, dude. I don't I mean, give a shit. He I could think, say... But in the same sense, I fucking say this all the time. You can say whatever the fuck you want. You're in America. No, I was born at St. Joe's on the east side in Denver, Colorado. And you know where the fuck that is? Uh, America, motherfucker. Yes. Land of the free, but I'm not even joking. Yeah, you. Yo, and I don't. Uh, fuck, check this out. Or uh, what, what's the other? What's the other I, name? I got Saul? all. I got all the police. What should I say? Saul. What, you can call Saul. me whatever you want. Just all not right. my actual name. All right. Pick like the whitest name you possibly right. could. That's really what you should be calling me. But. Fuck that's <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle. Wrecked. Kyle. Kyle. Fucking Kyle. wrecked over here. Kyle. No, I was also gonna say. I think pretty that's technically everybody yeah. who has ever been born is somewhere on the autism spectrum. So really, it's straight not. up, dude. Not, dude. Time I've heard that nah, bro. Today, so. That's a nah, real thing. This guy yeah. thought that homeboy with this other white kid was stealing little Aspie's jokes because he was <laughs> talking about autism. I was like, motherfucker, they both got autism. They could talk about it. <laughs> We're like, white. if I had AIDS, I could make a bunch of fucking AIDS jokes. We're but, white. You know, we yeah, probably have dude, autism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got stuck with the needle when you were in fucking kindergarten or Absolutely something. Absolutely, I did. Autism. And I, I, I can make uncircumcised jokes. And I ain't never had the measles. Yeah, neither. I can make... <laughs> I got a helmet on my dick. I'll make the helmet <laughs> jokes. You make the uncircumcised jokes. But if you got Asperger's, whatever, I'm just glad little Aspie's out, bud. No. Because I'm, I'm being truthful with you guys. Yo, that motherfucker's been through some shit. His own parents sent him to fucking psych ward and shit, dog. And I hope he doesn't, if he gets mad at me for telling him, you guys this, that's how it goes. 
But when he got out of that shit, I seen him at Streets of London off of Colfax. And he had the mic in his hand and he was shaking, bro. He was shaking. And not because he was scared. It, 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 he was... But then, like two, three weeks later, he no, came to he came no he came to my open mic. No, listen, listen. About two, three weeks later, he came to my open mic, and uh, he straight tells me like this. I tell him, "Yo, relax, bro. You're going third. Just calm down." Mm-hmm. And then that that set his hand didn't shake. Mm-hmm. He was at peace. He fucking, he rhymed, like the next week he did this crazy old unicorn rhyme. You know, it wasn't the crazy shit he did at fucking, at Scruffy Murphy's on Tuesday. He did a crazy unicorn rhyme, everybody loved it. But he was hanging out with that dude in the dress. And that dude, is that a like, thing, a crazy unicorn Is that like a... No, nah, it is a dope rhyme. That's just a bit. It's just, a, it's kind okay. of a bit, bro, it's him expressing himself, bro. He's yeah. autistic, bro. No, it's, I mean, no, that's like great. Some, that's, but, I, but I'm always the, saying. That, that, like, no, the guy that I'm going to bring you some crazy mountain beer, mm-hmm. his son's autistic. Mm-hmm. Totally different person. Mm-hmm. He weighs out his meals. He's a little buff guy. He goes to the gym. He's, his mindset is on gym stuff, you know, working out, making his body nice, you know. It's not like little Aspie. It's not like my homeboy. And shout outs to my homeboy Bear taking care of his, his son his whole life, bro. You know what I mean? And, you know, fuck, dude. I, That's I, great. I, I love that shit. I love when somebody takes care of somebody. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, I wish my grandfather was living with us when he passed. Because I used to live with my grandpa. My grandfather lived with me and my mom almost half my life until I was like 15, 16. Like, like fuck, dude. When nice. my gran- when my grandpa it's... passed, I went and got a little can of Copenhagen <laughs> chewing tobacco. I farted again, my God. I can feel it, but, too. And, yeah, gosh, dude. They fucking vibrate yeah, so wood. It's the wood. Crazy. That's fine. But, yeah. <laughs> so, don't worry. It I won't like be roses, falling asleep on this couch like tonight. Yeah, like, yeah, no, I'm just, no, I'm just fucking So, right. anyways, anyways. I used to go, my grandpa used to send me with a note to grab his Copenhagen chewing tobacco. Yeah. And so I bought my grandpa a Copenhagen chewing tobacco and it was right by his fucking, his picture. You know what I mean? Yeah. But fucking little, like, shit. I don't know, even know why I came up with that shit. I guess to respect the old school, bud. I was just going to say. the whole time. Oh, bro, for real. I was fuck. just going to say, uh, it's also really nice when you can find something that you can put your focus into and if it yeah. you know, like if it taking helps, care of people that's what we're saying if it helps that dude to do yeah. comedy like that helps no, him and focus it really does it helps him that's like, what's important man, to me uh, have you uh done any open mics or anything kyle no i i am all about edited comedy um, oh, all right cool. i could i i could potentially do that but it's not it's not really me i don't get any joy from do it. do you like the technical side like the video and like i this? like i like, like editing i like editing i like very specific timing and given yeah. a room full of people timing is the most difficult thing to maintain yeah, because like, people just fucking edit this out, so. uh, people are gonna edit you the fuck out people, right now. this is my life lesson the bb silica life lesson episode two i told you it was coming back the life lesson is Fuck it. Don't even mention it or think about it or use any of your mental energy to process That's what I said. It. Just, just be like, what do I need to do next? Right back in a few uh, seconds, ladies and gentiles. We're going to come back with Louis, Ricardo, Martinez. Jesse, bud. Put Louis, Jesse, Ricardo, Martinez is the advice on life and what I should do about being a comic in Denver, Colorado. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to the cuts right now and... Um, Mm, if we if we don't go cut if we don't get cut out from YouTube or Facebook, we are gonna play "Don't Stop Believing" from Journey. No, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, we're not gonna play that. We're gonna play. Um, play some Peanut Butter Wolf. Uh, we're gonna play El Burrito Sabanero. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, yeah. El Burrito Sabanero, baby. Yeah. This is Gab Dreams Radio, ladies and gentlemen, featuring Buzz Silica and Lewis.
We're back live wire dab dreams radio, ladies and gentiles. I, I did we like are, seven dabs. I'm seven dabs in. I'm down. He is seven cocaine dabs sure. in. No, I might do cocaine dabs later, but that's that's what we don't talk about. That that's fucking. That's man, privacy, ladies man and gentiles. Shit, bro. That's college shit. That's, yeah. You, when you graduate college, you fucking find out cocaine concentrates. Doesn't fuck up your nose like Artie Lang and shit. You know what God I mean? Goddamn right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we're back live wire well, with we're motherfucking here, we're here. Louis, hey, Jesse, um, Ricardo, Martinez. I just want to say I'm proud of you. You're going to be hosting your first open mic come this Saturday, right? Yes. And and what, like, what is that, 24 or 48 hours, bro? Like fucking Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy, dog. Yeah, in 48 hours. Right. We're going to be at this graffiti bar off of Broadway. My homie's going to be hosting his first open mic. But man, Louis Ricardo Martinez is about to kill the motherfucking Mike on Saturday. He's going to come through with hot. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Spicy. I'll be there for sure. Ready and raw with the edgiest of comedy. Come on. I'm not that edgy, bro. I try. I try. No, I did edgy. make fun of Bernie Sanders, though. I told, nah, I said, you're edgy, man. No, nah, nah, I said Bernie Sanders looks like motherfucking a white cookie monster on the roller coaster at Elitch's. He's always throwing his hands up and shit, dog. I'm like, fuck, you ain't at the roller coaster. Sit the fuck down, Bernie Sanders. I don't yeah, know. But I, don't, I don't get into politics that much. I don't even, you know, fuck. Wanna you be do su- and you don't. You want to be super truthful? Fuck, I voted for Trump, dog, because fuck, that fool is fucking. And if you see a lot of fucking blacks and Mexican motherfuckers on the internet, they're like, why are you fucking with Trump? He's been rich. He's ben. fucking who, who ben. better to run a country and make you some money than a rich fucking guy? That, you know, fuck it. I voted for the guy. I did it. You know, everybody's always crying. Well, am I a racist? No, not really. But fuck, dude. Not no, not for that reason. But no, for, 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 you know, shoot. I don't care. I know, I know Mexican people that say the N word frequently, like fucking about. I think the in in Raymond probably says it too, but I'm not I'm not gonna many times. I'm smart. I'm smart, bro. I'm not gonna say it on a, in front of a microphone ever, bro. Cause that's I will. Cool. Hey. No, that's, we've already cut from whatever. Mexican, please. I Mexican, please, dog. I will. I'll say dog, it because I am you know, comfortable fuck. with myself, and I am a Wu Tang. I am a Wu Tang affiliate. Wu-Tang, dog. Fuck Wu Tang saved my life a thousand times. Wu Tang clan fuck, ain't nothing to fuck with, motherfucker. Let me so tell you. So check this out. So let check this man, out. This let is me where give I come the from. right this... to say the N word. Hey, <laughs> I'm playing. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, no, that's how I want to. You know what? My total marketing scheme for people like to do, like the Mug Club, or come subscribe to my page and shit, is uh, subscribe to my page. You'll see me uh, say yeah. the N word. And then I would just like say the yeah. N word like 20, 30 times, you know, that's, that's some crazy marketing, right? Right, right, white kid, dude. Fuck it, that's tight, dude. I love that shit, dude. I like calling you white kid too, dude, because that's, that's my favorite shit. Everybody, why is it a white or a brown thing? It's like, fuck, because I see his skin and it's white, but he's a white guy, you know, there's black dudes, white guys, Mexican dudes, Mexican guys, fuck it, dude, you know? Yeah, you're not hung up from. You're from the south, bud. Were people crazy over there or what? I mean, that's that's the thing. I would say that most of the relevant active racism that I have experienced has come from outside of the south. Like, yeah, like while while we in the south, dwelling on dumb shit. There, bro. there are people who live in the south who are super racist, but they're usually like not acting on it. They're, that's just the way they're ingrained. Yeah, they're, they're just, talk they're just sitting it. on their front but porch fucking smoking fucking, some weed that they're mad they bought from some Mexican or they got to drive into town. But they deal with that. Yeah, they have to. They have to, dude. And they're People, like, he's got the best Yeah, race. dude, it's so dumb. It's, it's dumb, bro. I, I've done that too, bro. Like, no, absolutely. Like, straight up, you know, you know, check this out. So I used to sell coke. I'm 38, but in my early 20s, late, you know, mid 20s and shit, I used to sell a bunch of fucking cocaine, dude. And it was crazy. It was a crazy lifestyle. But I used to get on the gay chat lines and all the gay dudes going, oh, yeah, I'm down to party and play. I'd fucking hit them up. Yo, you need some blow? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, man? You know, and I fucking, that was my hit, bud. That's the I hustle. I fucking found a niche. So That's then I the fucking, fucking sold to like eight Absolutely. gay dudes, bud. 
I fucking made a bunch of money, dude. You and know they were I mean? probably hyped because they didn't oh, have dude, to go deal down. with some extra They were person. down, homeboy. They fucking, you know. You get one good yeah, one and you got some repeat You know, customers. I jerked off for 50 bucks in front of some guy, but that's a different story. You know what I mean? But I'm down, bro. Absolutely. I'm a real motherfucker, <laughs> dude, if you can't tell. But 50 bucks. That's, 50 that's bucks. why Raymond loves me, bud. Raymond Ace is, dude, he's a cool little kid. No, absolutely. He's tight, bro. You know what I mean? No, it's a, it's not a even shame. A kid, bro, but it's a shame it, it's he's not suck. in here to hear yeah, me dude, say this. It's but all good. I, we're fucking gonna I am, get uh, this kid. Are gonna mean we're gonna get on the technical side of this. We're gonna talk about your side. I am. Of this I shit. am very proud of C Rocket doing stand up. I think it's yeah. really good for him and uh, just having that well, outlet. How long to have go, you guys you been know, doing this podcast? We started doing this podcast like two years ago. All right, and what? Tell me about the kinds of guests you had on there. Well, we had. Uh, do you know about the Blazy Susan? Uh, uh-uh. no. See, I gotta, I gotta look so into this. The, shit, man. No, it's it was this dude who had this idea for this weed peripheral, and I'm really proud of that kid because he he has crushed some fucking marketing. Like he he did a couple things really correctly, and now he just gets like free marketing all the time, and it's well, awesome. Well, I'm gonna it's talk so to good. you about but, a couple of my crazy uh, ass ideas, then. But we got maybe uh, we can make some shit work. We had a bunch of crazy <coughs> shit. We had a flat earther. We had a stripper. Oh man, I hate flat earthers, had, but I hate them. We had this other dude. It used to be three people generally, yeah. And then at one point it was four people for a couple episodes, but it was it was more. That's the thing is like I want to make this shit all the time. I want to have yeah, a show want, that I'm recording every day. That's why I want to do the Let's Play shit. I want to do podcast shit. Yeah, that's I, why I'm even down, though I'm dude, like I'm I, I might so be busy, down. if you guys want to come actually show up and record a thing, I'll I'll fucking no, do I'm it. No, I'm down, dude. Yeah. I'm a down ass no, motherfucker. You could ask Raven, dude. You just fucked up more, by inviting me in, bro. I'm the serious. more people that like, d- my biggest problem with reality and humans in general is. I'm like, I just want to make stuff. If you want to show up and make stuff, yeah. that's awesome. I want to do that. And people are like, yeah, yeah, I absolutely will do that. And I very rarely meet people who actually show up and are like, yes, oh, I nah, actually dude, do I have no, the drive. You could ask Raymond. I ain't a fake motherfucker. Absolutely. Girl. I'm, not, no, I'm, I'm fucking, the realest motherfucker there is, dude. I, 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 I'm and, born and raised here in Denver. You want to hear my backstory now? I'm just a fucking robot that wants to make the content yeah, for nah, the people hey, dude, who actually want to say I'm down, bro. I'm that's, down. Like ninety percent of the shows that we've done is drink water. It's, drink water, dude. It's Hell yeah. My number drink one. Drink Denver water. It's the only it's thing. It's cold that's filtered from Dillon Lake. I just did this in my set. <laughs> Ask this motherfucker. I this dude's this dude's like I was like fuck you downstreaming Texans that be coming up here sucking at driving and shit and I was really and then the homeboy because I said it because the homie Anthony Dam Duncan was there you know this fucking yeah, yeah. cool chubby black kid. He thinks he's cute, but he should just come out as gay already and shit. But so I was it's, saying it to talk shit to him, but then better the dude, image wise. But then the dude, <laughs> but then the dude that was sitting like closest to me, he's like, "I'm from Texas," and I was like, "Fuck, dog, you've been drinking my pee forever." But I was like, "I don't give a fuck, dude." That and I used to work in the sewer business, bud. Yeah. No, I'm not even joking. No, bud. Yeah. I got the fucking. No, guy. that's hilarious. Has he told you my fucking my how I got fired from there? No, how did you get how did you get fired from literally shit tunnels? All right, it's not shit tunnels neither, but everyone's like, oh, is it big like Ninja Turtles? It's not Ninja Turtle shit, but see that that disappoints me. It's like eight me. inch line. Yeah, rather. see, I'm <laughs> I'm staying above the ground. I'm cleaning an eight to twelve inch line. Yeah. And then I, what I used to do is I used to video the shit. Mm. So I had a robotic camera, like fucking playing Nintendo and shit. Dog, I'm fucking sharp at video games, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, you got a little So I, yeah, I'd fucking roll the camera up to the motherfucking, little, in, through the line. Little and moon, and moon we'd rubber. count fucking how long it is, where the service lines come in. If there was cracks, mm. uh, we would repair it, bro. Mm. Like with a two-part epoxy and a fiberglass mesh and a, and a plug. And fuck, dude, I love the sewer game. I can't believe I fucking talk about that guy. I fucking didn't love But it was a cool job, well, and I miss it. I'm pretty Italian, I really miss so it. waste yeah. management yeah. is, is hey, genetically fucking, ingrained in me. <laughs> so this this old guy from Bosnia, his name's Ned. Shout outs to fucking Ned. This motherfucker was so gangster. He's from Bosnia. He lived in Germany half of his life when he fucking had to flee from Bosnia and shit, you know? Yeah. This fucking old guy, we're driving on the highway going to go clean over here in Lakewood and shit, you know, because we worked in this sewer company. 
I don't want to say the name because I've been no, fucking around all kinds. But yo, I fucking miss that place. I can't wait till the main dude retires and lets his fucking nephew run the joint because I know I got a job, son. Shout outs to DJ. Let's go snowboarding this year, son. No, but but fucking, I miss that joint. And uh, but we used to do the fiberglass mash and then we pull it into the fucking pipe, right? Mm-hmm. From the other manhole, we'd pull it in with the cable and then we would blow that plug up. And we'd have to chill there for like an hour and a half, bro, and wait for that shit to dry. But then when we pulled that plug out, it was like brand new PVC pipe in there. Yeah. Like, it was sharp, bro. Like, fix this shit. That shit's cool engineering. Yeah. Like, look, you're in the digital engineering. I'm into some physical engineering. Absolutely. And now I've been engineering jokes and shit, dude. Like, no, I was trying to tell this guy. I did my first 20 minutes last Saturday, bro, and it was rough. Yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't rough going up there and doing it, it was yeah. rough trying to pick out and connect three yeah. different sets or Absolutely. five different sets that I've done. And I'll tell you what, what, what I did. Like my set list was for this 20 minutes was I we were at a dab lounge. Mm. I have to talk about drugs. Mm. So Absolutely. I did weed first. You do the 50 dabs a day, you know, dab fucking city or wherever <laughs> we're the fucking out right now. <laughs> but anyways, like 50 dabs a day. <laughs> I say, you do 30 dabs, you pet the dog, you watch Game of Thrones, you fucking chill, you know, and then you do another 20 dabs, and that's when you go out for the day and do, <laughs> do, do your business, bud. You know, I fucking talk shit. And in the middle of that, I threw this story in, and this is where I'm getting at, fucking mm-hmm. for the pipeline company I used to work for. I threw this story in, and it's about me getting caught by a drug-sniffing horse in Cortez, Colorado, Mesa Verde State Park <laughs> fucking campgrounds, dude. Why are they training horses to sniff for drugs? Yo, they're real. You think, they're fucking real. You think that that horse actually just has a drug dude, problem and dude, tried to convince them that it was real, a drug bro. sniffing They're horse. fucking real. You, you watch, we'll Google. Or if my, if my fucking phone wasn't off right now, hey, hit me Here, up. Wait, wait, I got Google, you. you got your phone. Hey, Google yeah, drug sniffing overtime, horses. Man. I'll tell you what comes up first. <laughs> Because they're real. No, no, nah, not my fucking silly episode with the drugs to be horse don't come up at all, but I got that shit expunged off the records, but I'm clean. I only got paraphernalia taken that day, bud, even though that bitch took half ounce of fucking some bomb ass weed and shit. Yeah, that's a paraphernalia charge. Get used to it. Nah, dude, fuck. No, nah, my homegirl got like six paraphernalia charges, and I took her to Lakewood to go fucking, to go uh, do another one, because she had another paraphernalia charge. Mm-hmm. And the judge goes like this. This is like your eighth paraphernalia charge. The cops should know not to fucking give you these tickets anymore. <laughs> he wasn't even <laughs> mad at her. He just dismissed the case. <laughs> why do they keep sending you? No, <laughs> yeah, why do you keep uh, Is uh, it the drug sniffing horses at Coachella? No, it's narcotic detection, protection through detection. It's uh, the Ect- Equine Detection Services is what it's equine, called. Equine, that's, that's like Latin for horse, right? Uh, it's yes. gotta be. I dude. believe it is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, See, I'm not a dummy neither, dude. I might talk funny and can't spell and shit, dude, but I ain't no dummy, dude. I, I wholeheartedly know exactly where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I can't fucking, I can't write where the fuck. Uh, what... The first one I get is in uh, the UK, I think. Oh, yeah? Uh, no, the, it used to be the yeah, first one on the list would North be drug sniffing horses at Coachella. <laughs> and that's how I would prove to people, but I'll tell you. How, well, I mean, I believe she it. rolled up on us in like I walk. My dad used to watch a lot of Walker Texas Rangers, so I was like, "This is a fucking <laughs> ranger." But I was like, "This is a ranger, him. homie, <laughs> on a horse." I was like, "But we fucking we had put the like right when I seen her across the field." You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because we we're smoking jays. I fucking of course. I'm cautious, but I grew up when weed was illegal, bud. Right. The fucking dispensary was no, my I dad's just, tin can in his fucking closet. Still, it's still just. I illegal can't believe where you're from, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's why I left yeah. Tennessee was yeah, because they're going to be the shit, last dude. ones fuck to them, get bro. marijuana. No, the, and, all that Bible Belt <coughs> shit, dude. It's that Bible Belt shit, and right? And we, we are the buckle of the Bible Belt. I went to Catholic oh. school for nine years. Oh, man. No, I, Fucking, no. I come, I come from the Bible lands, and so that's I just, did, that's I did just my confirmation and all that shit out of little yeah. Mexican church Is right over here. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Which saint did you pick for your confirmation? Uh, Saint Joseph. Nice. I think uh, I, I could, but my uncle Ben, I would, but there's no Saint Benjamin or nothing because yeah. my uncle Ben was the one that did my confirmation with me and shit. Right. And I think fucking like our church was right down here, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Yeah. One of the fucking priests got busted diddling somebody. 
Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I'm I'm not gonna say no names or nothing, but when we was fucking at this fucking you know how you go up to the church in the mountains and yeah. shit and you have the retreat with all yeah. the other kids in the community and shit. We were up Absolutely, there. Absolutely, I know. <laughs> yeah, dude, we were up there and this fucking priest kept telling us jokes, bud, like dirty mm. jokes and shit. And we're like, oh, yeah. yeah. And he let us smoke weed, bro. <laughs> well, let, that's cool. Yeah, but see, he, that was cool. And then he let us smoke yeah. weed. He took a little drag and he's like, actually, I got my own little bit of wine. You know what I mean? Fucking yep. sharp. Fucking, you know, he's, he told us jokes and I shit, mean, but he told me the funniest joke ever, and I I got to do this joke in, like, white guy voice. Like, oh, hi. You know, I, if, if I do you can, do you it. You can write it down. If, I'll do it for no, you. And yeah, we can no. voice over it. Yeah, oh, no. That would be great. So, no, I do it all the time, but, I'm like, fucking, <laughs> I, I did it at uh, the Homeboy's mic at Lion's Lair, because mm. this dude, Byron, he looks like a soda, soda shop jerk, yeah, like yeah. one of those old school Absolutely. soda jerk guys. <laughs> And I was, I was like, give me Mickey, a... Mickey Maltz. Yeah. But I said that joke to him one time. I was like, you look Italian, you know, just so I could say the words in the joke. You know, yeah. I try to, you know, play it off. <laughs> oh, you look Italian. You know, what does the Pope say every day when he goes to the window? And it's, it's all you wops, get off my grass. And I could say that joke because the preach told me, the preacher told me that shit and he said it's cool. I could say that shit. That's a great but joke. But that's dope, dude. That's funny, dude. It's I fucking, love that joke. Yeah, dude. And you make the sign of the cross and it's perfect. You know, get off my grass. You know, you just fucking do that. And, uh, it went over good with him because he was the host of the mic. And I don't give a fuck about yeah. nothing. You know, I as long as it's funny, like I said, as long as it's funny, it's yeah. fucking funny. It's pretty as long funny. As you can tell that you're not and, trying and you to know be what? malicious. And, and it but... goes with the times, too, bro, because yeah. them fucking Puerto Rican Pope they got right now, or Brazilian Pope, or South American Pope they got right now, they fucking hate Italians, but they hate I mean, Italians they and new Spanish Pope? Pope. Who's the current yeah, Pope? Yeah, they got some fucking Pope. Fucking, I don't know his name. The last one I remember was the German guy. Yeah, then they went, he fucking resigned because he fucking could have kept his dick out of little boys or something. (laughs) But fucking now it's some fucking South South American guy, some Brazilian cat, bro. (laughs) You know, so them, none of those Brazilian, you know, but it just goes with, if you want to say conspiracy theory, I trust you, bro, because that's where Hitler (laughs) said. He goes from a German to a fucking to a South American dude. Yeah. You know, that sounds like so, fucking Hitler passing the baton or something. Boys you from know? Brazil, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, they did that. They was down there. I mean, I, I have a friend who's been very into telling me oh, about... I'm into everything, homeboy, yeah. uh, dude. I'm so sick with it, bro. That shit, is, uh, that shit is just so a waste of time. No, was, it's not a waste of yo, time, dude. You know about, you you know about fucking... QAnon? Do you know about that shit? QAnon's uh, a funny one. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fuck, <laughs> man. That one's oh, man. But, uh, short story of QAnon is somebody on 4chan convinced a bunch of idiots that he might have information on the current U.S. federal government, which he doesn't. And that's not a real thing. And anyone who posts on 4chan should not be trusted under any all right, circumstances. So, <laughs> what my, the fuck is wrong all with right, you? <laughs> here's, here's, a, here's a crazy, speaking of fortune. Yeah. So my homeboy Brian Evans, shout outs to the fucking big homie Brian Evans. He's a fat kid from fucking from. Uh, I'm doing the sign for uh, uh, by Detroit. Yeah. Which is like Michigan looks like a dumb fucking glove. <laughs> That's Brian's d- favorite joke. But anyways, he told oh, me yeah. he's all he's all yeah, dude. He's all. So I was trying to look up fucking comedy books, mm. and I'm like, all right. How did that go? And he's all, I got thrown onto 4chan for comedy books. Yeah. And I was like, well, what books did they say? He's all, they said like some Richard Pryor biography book. And I was like, actually, I read that because I did a, yeah. I, I, I didn't know I was going to be so in love in comedy, but yeah. this is how bad I've had been a fan of comedy is mm-hmm. I did a book report in high school about <laughs> Richard Pryor, bro. Nice. And I started it off by my rhetorical question on my oral fucking thing was who starred in four major movies <laughs> and was top of the fucking charts, fucking made the most fucking records, comedy records ever. Yeah. Richard motherfucking Pryor. And right. I even said motherfucking Pryor, dude, in I, high uh, school, bro. Because I didn't give a fuck. I didn't know how much I would love this shit. I remember but, him a lot from Kentucky Fried Movie. 
Yeah. I, I think was the one oh. that he was there. Because he was so young, and he did some joke about how the police were trying to arrest him, but he yeah. was so fucking skinny that the handcuffs that, fall off. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking genius. Dude, it's over. God, it Richard sick. Pryor's the man, dude. And oh. that's, I mean, dude, I've been so in love with comedy. Yeah, I did that book report on him, but like Eddie Murphy... Dude, all oh, them motherfuckers. I remember seeing see, I Eddie Murphy. I don't know Rob. very much that's, about that's Eddie Murphy at all. Shit. I want to like, say I saw Raw when I was a kid, but I don't. I didn't retain any like, of it, like, and I've never I seen it. I got so. ice cream, and you can't have none. And then the ice cream falls off your shit. That's it's it's. But that's that's back when you could rent movies over there on Alameda and Federal. I'm gonna, and there, there, there wasn't a bank there. There was a giant fucking movie rental place. With fucking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal a, uh, a funhouse joke here. But one of my favorite Eddie Murphy moments that I always remember from my childhood was when they did Daddy Daycare. Yeah, and they, that they show was, you yeah. in, the, in the trailer where it's just him looking at the bathroom wall and there's yeah. shit all over the walls. And they... They don't even have to tell you that there's shit all, all right, over the where, walls. Where, did we, where were we at, though? Oh, it doesn't five matter. Five minutes ago. Uh, it's, uh, we were talking about Richard Pryor. and Right the, before I went into my Richard Pryor. That was because uh, somebody... You were saying that was your example of how far into comedy you were. Somebody's 4chan books. Yeah, but the 4chan books. So Brian's fortune books. Mm -hmm. I asked him, what books are on that shit? And he's like... Nobody, they recommended the one Richard Pryor book or something. He's all, and then the rest of it was like, quit being a pussy, go to open my comedy. Who the fuck reads? Fuck you reading, dude. You're a piece of shit for reading. Be funny. I, be fucking, that's yeah, exactly it, dude. Be fucking funny. Why, why don't you just fucking yeah, be funny? Go to open my God. fucking chump bitch you know and i just <laughs> laugh dude i laugh so hard at but that's that's some comedy shit dude that's like i tell this fool not to cry about this shit dude you know yeah. what i mean and like no fuck. that's that's fucking always whenever you ask a question on the internet nine out of ten of the responses oh you're gonna get a thousand some, shut the fuck up somebody bud. fucking that's why dude you. if i if i fucking put what was and funny for me dude like you know this is fucked up I put a picture of a guy passed out with one shoe on, bud, and the other leg fucking on a tree. <laughs> and he, this fucker was passed out. And I fucking took a picture and I put, I love heroin. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, dude. That dude loves heroin. I know the guy. He's been doing heroin around the corner for years, dude. You know what I mean? Fuck it, dude. People are going to keep doing heroin even though they know That's they like, shouldn't fuck, do it. <laughs> That's shit. That's you want to know so It's real life. All right. That shit's crazy shit downtown, but you want to know a fun fucking really fun loving story from my hood, Whitesminster? Absolutely. We'll use the it as place our, where I, Yeah, we'll use this This will be the ender. outro. Yeah, yeah this will be the total outro, dude. And I dig I think you took over for my homie Raymond's. That's all passed I'm, out. I'm half of this podcast yeah, every episode, right whether on. or not cool. I'm just fixing awesome, audio dude. or. I, uh, I'm I, down. I'm down, white kid, dude, and your nickname's white kid for me from now on. I'm here right? for the jokes. I yeah, have always nah, dude, been about. I, you laughed a I, few times. I love I comedy. Yeah, I, I, I don't know too. if you. I I actually may have seen you at one of the other mics I went to go yeah. see C Rock at, but I I drunkenly got up on the mic at the end and I was like. I want to thank everybody for trying so hard to be funny. <laughs> yeah. No, I hate it. That's, 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 that's good encouragement, bro. Fucking, fucking straight yeah, up, dude. That's half all these, you have to do. Half these fuckers, uh, I'm not going to lie, dude. So, half, half of them suck and some of them hate you. I, I don't want to step on your final story. My only other note about me going to a comedy show the other day to CC Rock or do stuff was I was in the audience and I was laughing and there were at least three people that I was watching that when they saw that I was the one that was laughing, they began to direct towards me. And I was like, no, no, you shouldn't yeah. do that. You should accept no, my laughter and stay hey, objective dude. to me. Hey, man, I'll tell you, there's this open mic comedy like I told you. Oh, no, it sucks. Earlier. People are no, awful, like, man. Like oh, I was saying God. earlier, dude, I'm all in on that game, dude. Yeah. This, is, this is all I got is the comedy game. So please don't brown bag me or whatever. No. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just joking. That's a joke. To me, that's a fucking joke, but I don't even care. I'm going to fucking make it no matter what, dude. Like, I asked... No, it's fucking... I you just got to keep guy, doing it. I asked this guy, I asked my fucking homeboy tall guy. I said, do you want to be open mic comics? Or or do you want to be open micers? Or do you want to be fucking comedians, homie? Yeah. And that's how I'm living my life. I'm going to be a fucking comedian, dude. I, and I... I, I'm not apologizing for what these assholes did the other day. No. They deserve what's coming to them. They, like, like, 
I'm you, telling you the you truth. You can never expect that motherfucker. To that be motherfucker tried to rope place. me in on that shit, and I I did the smart thing, and I fucking just said fuck you, boom, and I walked away. But that no, was it's, it. It's and, it's because all you're but, concerned with is doing yeah. comedy. Yeah, it, that's it all. I, that's it doesn't a, matter how people dude, feel that's about you. All I or have now, bro. What they my, think of you. My back's or fucked fucking, up. You know what I could do? I could act. Me and Absolutely. you are going to be writing screenplays oh, we're, and all we're that gonna, shit. We're we got do plenty some of shit. shit to do. Me and this white guy yeah. are on it. Bam, bitches. I, fucking Big Lou 303. That's, all caps. King Daddy. That's Lazy Mota production. <laughs> I'm going to make his fucking his sofa rattle again before I leave. It's, like, <laughs> it's totally That's funny. an inside joke for me and the white kid right I'm now. Just, I'll, I'll know exactly all when right. you do it, too. That's but <laughs> here, here's a dope I don't story. Have a yes. Actually, check this. I'll put, get on the Facebook on your phone and look this guy up. I don't have a Facebook. Will oh, that be it a don't problem? matter. Just okay, get okay. on the Facebook okay. and look this dude up, Mister Inconspicuous, bro. <laughs> it's tight, dude. I like that, bro. Like fucking. I, I couldn't care. after I realized that in 2016 nobody was ever gonna shut up about the election. I deleted my Facebook immediately. Oh, dude, I was like, wanna, fuck all of you. You want to hear? I was so tired okay, of your so shit. Like, I said I voted for Trump, bud. And you know, you want to know the real reason why I didn't? Cause no, no, listen, 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 listen before no, you say why? anything. No, I don't want to ruin your All right. I might have a so, funnier joke than yours. So, <laughs> me and my homeboy Ron, we're fucking, I'm, he's, I'm drinking can of punches. This fool's drinking, this fool's drinking uh, uh, shock top beer. <laughs> and we're playing fucking, uh, uh, so <coughs> me and my homeboy, we'd play GTA, right? Yeah. Do the role play server and shit. Yeah, we'd be playing online with other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, me and my homeboy, we're playing GTA and shit, right? And we're having a ball. He's getting drunk. We're just fucking homies. You know, we're homies since fucking uh, elementary school, me and my homeboy, Ron. And we're playing GTA. I decide to be an asshole. And you know how you could make your own, like, street flags and shit for yeah. your fucking crew? I made a fucking red, white, and blue Trump fucking sign, <laughs> bud. And these motherfuckers was blowing me up every day. They were shooting at me. They was killing me. They was just fucking... Oh, dog. It was all a troll, bro. It was a troll, bro. It was a total fucking troll, dude. You know what I mean? So fucking... Yeah. I had people unfriend me on fucking PlayStation Network, Absolutely. bud. Absolutely. And I would just laugh, bro. I'd be like, no way. Get the fuck out of here. People care that much. I was like, yeah, dude. It's some dumb shit. But you shit. know what? I still got all my fucking Trump armored car in my garage at fucking GTA, but I don't give a fuck, bro. Who knows, but, man? In like six years, yeah. he may still be president. No, I'm he fucking... probably will, bro. He probably will, bro. He's fucking gonna... roller coaster, fucking, fucking. He's gonna pull a Putin, and he's just um, never gonna. No, leave. dude, he won't do that, bro. He's sharp, bro. He's sharp. He's smart, bro. No. No, dude, he's 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 a real smart. Look, he went from fucking his family used to fucking own hotels to pimp bitches out of. Bro. Man, I was on the I was on the half Mitt Romney train for oh, being like like when when that was happening. I was like, but he's he does have decent Social, business. Socialism's not. I mean, yeah, the but, way though, dude, you can't fucking but you can't a, take in. He's a businessman. All right, so me and this dumb white kid, tall guy that I know, we have this little political conversation about fucking By the crazy way, shit. I have no political. You couldn't yeah, possibly I don't offend care, me. Dude. I fucking, <laughs> dude, I, I hope I don't, bro, because no, I, I don't could know. could never, could I never don't know, happen. Dude, if you want to know the truth, fucking picking a president's like picking Coke or Pepsi, and I fucking like See, them both, and they're both going to kill you. That's my joke about Mitt Romney is I couldn't have him yeah. as president because he doesn't drink soda because he's a Mormon, so yeah, I couldn't trust fuck him. Fuck that guy. I can't deal with <laughs> I can't deal with fucking Mormons, bud. No offense, Mitt Romney. I would, nah. ne I would never mean to offend you. I have nothing against you. Nah, no, but you. I went to go get a coffee. Just, just in case you're listening to this I went episode. to go get a coffee when we were leaving from working. Like I said, I worked yeah. all down the East Coast doing neon glass. We went to leave from finishing this, co this uh, store mm. in Oregon. I was like, yo, you ain't got no coffee? They're like, we don't have that here. And I said, all right, cool. It's a Mormon gas station. Whatever, motherfucker. You know what I mean? So I went and got... Two Mountain Dews. Mm. I sat them on the counter and the lady goes, you know there's caffeine in that shit? I said, duh, bitch. I need to get the fuck to Denver and get the fuck out of this crazy ass place. No goddamn caffeine. Get the fuck out of here. If I All to, right, so. If I have to stay awake through yeah, one more caffeine-free gas station. I got to get the fuck out of here, bud. I got to get the fuck out of here. All right, so. I'm showing you the picture of one of my favorite people. Denver fucking legend, bro. You've never seen this guy around ever. It's Air Guitar Man. 
<laughs> he would fucking play the air guitar up and down the street, dog. Every fucking day, I would see him. We'd be all stoned. We'd just get stoned at school, and we'd leave to go to my dad's house, and there's air guitar guy on low. We'd we'd leave we'd leave the we'd leave the we'd leave from school. There's air guitar on federal. Boom, air guitar guy. And he just played a fucking air guitar like a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Denver legend, bro. <laughs> One night I seen that motherfucker, no lie. You know the bridge going over 36 on federal? You know yeah, how yeah. the bridge goes over yeah. the highway? Absolutely. This motherfucker was in the middle of the medium, <laughs> dude. In the underneath the bright ass lights, but with his fucking headphones, you know the old school foam yeah, yeah. headphones, but he had the old school foam headphones, just fucking jamming like he was at a fucking concert. But that fool is the baddest motherfucker Nobody. in Denver, Colorado, Whitesminster, all over the fucking metro area. I've never I'm heard giving mad <laughs> props to motherfucking air guitar guy right now. Absolutely. Denver legend. And just wait, Big Lou 303 is going to be a Denver legend with the white kid mixing it up for sure. All right, you guys? We're going to have you playing air hey, guitar. Hey, this is a shout out right here to my fucking little homie, Raymond Aces, that got all drunk. <laughs> He got all piedo. That means faded for you white folks. It's good that you uh, translated that for me. I'm glad. I'm glad was. he had me here to conversate with his white friend for this podcast. He's all fucked up. Did you hear him, you guys? So <laughs> this is for my homie Raymond Aces. Puto de madre. Get the fuck up. Pinche huevo. Anyway, this has been uh, episode three of season two of Dab Dreams Radio. Oh, uh, can I give one more shout out? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Uh, I will shut the uh, fuck up. Calm down. I'm Drunk gonna guy. I'm gonna do your we're, whole outro. We're done. He's gonna do the <clears throat> outro, the intro, the middle. What's your, what's your shout out? All right. So if you want to watch super dumb shit, me watching Game of Thrones. So go to the super ultra Game of Thrones watch party on Lewis Martinez's page, and uh, I'm gonna start posting a bunch of my stand up too. So I'll be looking for that, and. Uh, Raymond's going to get up, so we're going to get done with this before he does. Anyway, uh, this has been Dab Drinks Radio. Uh, you were joined by your host, C. Rocca, uh, always, smoking on so- always smoking on something smelly, poking on random bitches' bellies, <laughs> making them sip and slurp <coughs> this jelly, as right. well as B.V. Silica, the Caucasian who needs no persuasion, who rides and trots so gracefully. Uh, I don't remember why there was a horse pun in there. but And we are also joined bar- by... Tony Martinez. What is your name? <laughs> My name is. I'll, 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 Sorry, sh- I I just wanted to go. Lewis, over there. It's Louis <laughs> Jesse Ricardo Martinez. This has been good. We're gonna get a good. And uh, I also go by King Daddy, or you can find me on PlayStation Network at Big Lou Three Hundred Three. You you can find me on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two on PC as Shotgun Princess. Have a oh, wonderful man. have a wonderful evening. We're gonna play video games. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> I've been chain smoking and dab dreaming. Uh, I've been dreaming, dab, 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 dab dreaming. Uh, I've been chain smoking and dab, dab dreaming. Chain smoking and dreaming, chain smoking and dreaming. Uh, I've been chain smoking and dab dreaming. Uh, I've been dreaming, dab, 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 dab dreaming. Uh, I've been chain smoking and dab, dab dreaming. Chain smoking and dreaming, dab, 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 dab dreaming.